I am going to be talking about Paul's second journey. You can find this story in Acts chapter 15, 36 to 41. Acts chapter 15, 36 to 41, and then chapter 16 onwards. At the time, Paul, the new churches told Paul to go and check on the new believers. At the time, churches were growing stronger and more believers believed and more believers were coming into churches every day. So, one time, when Paul was when Paul was checking on the new believers, he saw a vision. A vision is like a dream, except you're awake. And so, he saw a man telling him to come to Macedonia. Paul got ready, uh, Paul got ready concluding that this, this vision was from God. He and his friend Silas left for Macedonia. On, on the Sabbath, uh, Paul and Silas found themselves in a city called Philippi, and they went out the city gates down to the river, expecting to find a place of worship. They saw a group of women, and they started to preach to them. And one of the per people listening were called Lydia. Lydia. God opened Lydia's heart to the message, and she and her family were baptized. After they were baptized, Lydia said, if, if you consider me a true believer in the Lord, then come to my, ha then come to my house for the night. So then, and they did. So then when Paul and, Paul and Silas were going to Lydia's house, they met, they saw a slave. This slave had a spirit in her that allowed her to see the future. This, uh, Paul and Silas, Many days, Paul and Silas were walking, were walking to Lydia's house, and the and the slave kept coming and say, shouting, "These men are servants of the Most High God, who are telling you the way to be saved." After a while, Paul, after a while, Paul got very annoyed with this, and he and he turned around and told her, but "In the name of Jesus Christ, leave her at once," and the spirit left her. Then when the masters realized that their hope of making money was gone, they then when her masters realized their hope of making money off of her was gone, they they seized Paul and Silas and they they seized Paul and Silas and brought them to the marketplace to face the magistrates. Then when they then they saw the magistrates and the magistrates said that they would be beaten and that they would be stripped and beaten. Then after being stripped and beaten, they were taken to about late at night, Paul and, Paul and Silas were singing hymns to the Lord and praising him when an earthquake hit the prison. All the bars and the chains fell to the ground and they were and Paul and Silas could have left at any moment. When the jailer realized this, he thought they had left and raised the sword to kill himself. But then Paul said, "Do not kill yourself. We are still do not hurt yourself. We are still here." And then the prisoner and then the jailer came to them and said, Men, no, the jailer took them outside and said, Men, what must I do to be saved? And then Paul replied, What you must do to be saved is, you must believe in the Lord, you and your household, and you will be saved. And so will your household. Then, then that night, Paul, Paul preached the message to the jailer and his household, and they believed. Then the jailer put a meal before put a meal before Paul and Silas, and then when day when day, when day came, the the uh, the jailer gave the order to release Paul and Silas. The magistrates of saying the magistrates have ordered that you and Silas be released. You can leave now. Go in peace. To me, this story means that believe in God even in the worst of situations, and still He will break your Thank you. Amen.